sorry I didn't get another a close out video but due to time constraints I really had to get them cleaned up I had to work in the morning so I felt rushed and then the weather made uh, maybe had to cape them out my dad actually caped them out for me and skinned them out and we kind of did that together a little bit um, but I couldn't quite get a the video that I wanted but here I am afterwards and just kind of showing you he ended up going 153 and an eighth that was rough green score obviously that's gross but still that's the biggest deer I've ever shot and it's a lot of bone especially here in Virginia it's, uh, still in shock so this is one of the coolest things and this is what made me realize what deer he was from last year it's this brow ton that curls back they kind of kick back so I kind of had a name for him, a Kickback Jack. It's a local restaurant here. Um, but I think Big 7 is just as suitable because that's essentially what he was last year. And just to give a little bit of context to the story, I had this deer come right behind me on November 14th with my muzzleloader, and I was hunting with my girlfriend. And he came directly behind us 10 yards, stopped him, had him dead to rights and only my primer went off and at the time that was the worst thing ever but I'm sure glad that he made it <laughs> because he was probably about 125 130 last year and um, <laughs> as you can see he blew up so it's amazing what a gear can do um, I'll just give you some more angles and everything but I'm extremely proud of this and I just kind of wanted to give you all a little bit more insight to the story but here you go, I hope you enjoy. What?
for it to you. He just came right through. And I'm pretty sure he's dead. No. I got to I don't know what I I got to Smells good. Doesn't smell like guts, that's for sure. Let's see if I can find some blood. All right, guys, so we are back at the farm. Actually, I should say the barn. My girlfriend, I think, is pulling up now. My dad's already back there looking. Yep, there she goes. So, we're gonna go back there. I'm pumped, scared, don't know what to think. But I think I finally got my Pope and Young buck. It's like I finally got him. Well, guys, we found him. He's a beautiful buck. We'll get some more video, better. Better look at him when we get him out of the woods. Got him out to the field. Little coyote.